media has put out a witch hunt for me, and I am not guilty. Well, new this morning, we are hearing from Cedric Marks. He's the MMA fighter accused of murdering his ex-girlfriend and another man in Killeen and then escaping from custody as he was being brought back into Texas. Chris Davis joining us from the newsroom. And Chris, uh, what exactly did he have to say in this jailhouse interview? Well, simply put, John, he says he didn't do it. Now, Marks is in jail right now in Bell County, and that's where our uh, NBC sister station in Houston got in touch with him through a video conference. Now, take a look here. This is Marks uh, now behind bars after he escaped from a prisoner transport van on Sunday in Conroe. That's north of Houston. He's accused of killing his ex-girlfriend, 28-year-old Jenna Scott, and 32-year-old Michael Swearingen. Family members said those Temple friends were like brother and sister. Court documents say Marx's current girlfriend led police to their bodies in Oklahoma. She told investigators she was in that home in Colleen and heard Marx kill them. But Marx denies it. I believe that they coerced her and scared her and uh, forced her to say some things, but like none of it has involved me. I can only imagine what's going on with their family and I am so sorry for their losses, but I did not and had nothing to do with this. Now, Jenna Scott's dad says uh, that he believes Marx is trying to twist the situ situation around here and he's just looking for justice for the two of them. Marx, meanwhile, is being held in that jail on a $1.75 million bond. John. So, Chris, you know, he says he's innocent. He wouldn't be the first person accused of a crime to say that. But then we have this situation where he's being transported back to Texas and he escapes from the van. Did he explain why he ran if he was innocent? Well, he didn't really talk a lot about that. He said he couldn't, in fact. But he did go on to say that he wasn't trying to escape, that he was, quote, in fear when he left that transport van. But uh, again, he was found nine hours later by police hiding in a trash can. All right, Chris, thank you very much. Also new this morning.